Welcome to Vintage Coin Op Restorations and the Capital Projector Company's Auto Test. The year around 1947 is when the Capital Company um, made uh, this machine and uh, I believe there are like three other machines they made. Um, this one's called Auto Test. There's an Auto Test Junior and a couple other machines that they made with the use of their projector. Capital Auto uh, Company was known for making driving simulators. Uh, I'm from Chicago, born and raised, and uh, I learned to drive at Lane Tech High School in, uh, I believe I had my driver's education class in 1980. And uh, we were all in a building in the parking lot of the Lane Tech High School, which is, um, to this day, I think it's probably the largest high school in the state of Illinois, a public high school. Uh, we went there to learn how to drive, and we had, uh, we learned how to drive in a simulator. Um, I wish I had some pictures of that then, but uh, obviously I don't. Um, but the company ended up uh, making um, a, some of their uh, simulators into an arcade machine. And here we have one completely restored. It, um, I guess it's been modeled after a Ford dashboard. I'm not a big car guy, so I wish I could give you a little more details of exactly, you know, where and what kind of car it was supposed it came from. but. Um, it looks like it, it could be an actual dashboard that they cut down and used for this machine. Because when I did the simulator, it really was a full car. You sat down, you put your seatbelt on, you adjusted your mirror, and there was like 30 of us in a classroom all in a row, and we watched a, a, a projector. We didn't watch into like this uh, game did, but we watched on a big overhead screen a projector while the teacher was in the back of the classroom watching all of us doing our signals and things like that. So here is a single person version. Uh, the cabinet is basically made out of, completely out of Formica. Uh, as you know, Formica is extremely durable but brittle, so uh, there's usually a lot of scratches, a lot of cracks. Um, this machine is just about perfect. I'll do a quick walk around. seat back up for you a little bit. We have the back door there and I'll take you around the back in a minute. The back glasses that you're looking at are reproductions and they are absolutely perfect. And we'll take you around to the back here, take a sneak peek on the inside to see what exactly is this all about. Well, inside here, the back of the machine, we have a 16 millimeter projector. And the projector is um, projecting a, a driving course, basically, and it's narrated by a gentleman that you will hear in a little bit. But uh, originally in the machine, there was an 8-track player. And over time, we know that the 8-track players break down and there's always kind of issues, especially with the tape. So from the original, a MP3 board was built and all our sounds and everything are coming from a computer board now. So let's take a quick walk around the front. 
and we have a beautiful upholstered uh, chair here with uh, vintage seat belts. We even have a little mirror on the side over here. So it is a coin out machine, so for 10 cents, you are going to pay to learn how to drive. Uh, we have a, here's your little car, and as you move the steering wheel, you move it back and forth. Um, what's the object of the game? Well, on top here, you have uh, the Red Phantom. You want to beat the Red Phantom uh, with your safe driving. Uh, you're gonna, uh, the driver's car is green, and the Red Phantom is a timed... Uh, a time mechanism that he lights up as he goes through the course and you are trying to follow him. Uh, you won't be looking at that, but the people behind wanting to try, try next will be watching to see if you could uh, become the winner. And if you are, your uh, car, the winner green, will light up. Most of the time you'll see the Red Phantom is the, <laughs> is the winner because it is pretty tough. Um, the game itself, uh, a little bit on smoke and mirrors. Um, when you press the brake, you want the, the screen to slow down, but because uh, it's a projector, that can't happen because the, the tape itself would just completely melt. So how does it work? Well, when you do see something that you need to use the brakes to stop, uh, you're going to press the brakes, and if it's at the right point, you'll hear a bell ring. And when you hear that bell ring, that is you advancing a little bit quicker on your uh, your path to California and uh, if you press the gas too fast the projector will pretty much completely stop and it'll tell you you're speeding slow down and then you release it up on the gas and the tape uh, the player will start up again so there's a couple things and plus you uh, you're steering back and forth uh, the steering doesn't have a whole lot to do with uh, interaction with the projector except you are you know turning the handle back and forth trying to stay on the road as you will see it in a brief moment so let's give it a go well here we are and uh, we're gonna give this uh, game a try I got my buddy Jeff here and he is gonna see how well of a driver he is so we'll uh, put our money in Here we're off. There's the Phantom car and your car. Remember, don't see. If you do, your warning light will go on and the car will stop. Get a firm grip on the wheel. Stay in your own lane and observe all speed and traffic rules. Slow down on the road, road Jeff. and watch out for dangerous obstacles. Watch if out. any happen to come your way, Apply your brakes in oh, time and rack up extra points toward your safe driver's car. There we are, we're chasing that van up. And don't let some highway oh. hot shot spoil your race. Right there was the point the where a little bit too win. much gas will slow it down. Now let's try it again, Jeff. The oh, there you go. You Keep on rolling. And everybody else, how good a driver you really are. Well, oh, there's do? another little kid driving a bicycle. Want to top your score? Try it again. There you have it. It's only about a minute, but uh, let's do it again. Uh, Jeff, uh, did you, nope, the Red Phantom one on that too. Who's got the, got the Vegas? There we go. On a game of fun and a real test of driving skill. You can see this is a large machine, and he is very comfortable. He, it's just like he's sitting in a real car. If you do, your warning light will go on, and the car will stop. Get a firm grip on the wheel, stay in your own lane, and observe all speed and traffic rules. Slow down on the curb, and watch out for dangerous obstacles. If any oh! of you on the way, apply your brakes Radio in time. Man. Oh, you gotta love it, you gotta love it. Or still than anything, this is just a piece of history. If you're familiar with uh, this, when you learn how to drive, you'll understand what, I, what I'm feeling when I see this right now. Now, let's have a look at the floorboard. It tells you and everyone so how good a driver you really are. Well, how did you do? Well, up your score. The Phantom Turn one in. again. There you have it. If you're in the market for a auto test, or if you have one for sale, or you need one restored, please give us a call. 
We're located in Chicago, Illinois. Our phone number is area code 630-624-7466. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to our videos so you can see all the new machines coming to the warehouse. Thanks for watching.